Welcome to our Angular troubleshooting video. Today we're addressing a common error that many developers encounter. Our viewer is facing the issue titled, cannot find a differ supporting object, object object of type object. NG4 only supports binding to iterables such as arrays. This can be quite frustrating, especially for those new to Angular. Let's dive into the details of the question and see how we can help our viewer resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. The error message you're encountering indicates that Angular's ng4 directive expects an iterable, like an array, but it received an object instead. Let's start by checking the data structure returned from, from your service. In your service, the method getAfdelian is designed to return an observable of an array of afdelian. However, in the extract data method, you are returning an object instead of an array. Let's fix that. Now let's ensure that the JSON data structure is correctly parsed. Your JSON file contains an array under the key afdelian. Make sure to access this array in your component. Finally, in your HTML template, you are using ng4 correctly. Just ensure that the afdealing variable is indeed an array after making the changes in your service. After making these adjustments, your application should correctly display the patient IDs from the JSON data. If you still encounter issues, check the console for any additional errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the error in Angular about not finding a differ for an object, you should use the async pipe. This allows you to work with observables directly without needing to unsubscribe manually. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user encountered an error in Angular stating that ng4 only supports binding to arrays. They found a solution by modifying their code to correctly assign the product's array. The user shared their experience with the error in the browser console and expressed gratitude for the suggested fix. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.